Hi, it's Agradin here, and today we'll be talking about the new announcement made during the VM World 2021. But if you are new to that channel, please subscribe to it. And for everyone else, let's give a like and share the knowledge with the community. So let's have a look. During VM World 2021, VMware announced the realized operation. 8.6, which will provide a lot of new features and capabilities. We can expect enhanced integration between VROPS and VRA, which is vRealize Automation, an exciting new user interface for smoother navigation, new public cloud integration, and many more, like support for defining custom email notice within the user interface or new method to define customer groups. For myself personally, uh, one of the highlights was inclusion of the V realized through visibility, compute and storage management packs for all ambition. So let's deep dive what's coming. First of all, navigation and user interface. The simplifying user interface creates a smoother navigation experience with enhancements like dashboard favorites and a new administration page and support for regular expressions in custom groups. In app guides, we provide easy to follow instruction to get users to start faster with tasks like connecting to vSphere or VMworld Cloud, setting up alerts, notification or creating dashboards. True visibility compute and storage management packs. Guys, this is really big because v realize Operation 8.6 will include all storage and compute management packs that are currently part of v realize True Visibility Suite. No additional license key will be required to install and configure those management packs. User will be entitled to all pack listed below. You will see the list below in this video with the next release of management packs. This is big. What else? Email payload templates. With better control over what information is portrayed in the email alerts, teams can re react faster to situations that need immediately attention. The templates can be created using rich text HTML editor. User can define support parameters for alerts, properties, metrics, along with custom inputs. Enhancement integration for v realize operation and v realize automation. The feature will enable VROPS to manage multi-cloud VRA deployments on AWS, Azure, Google, or even on Edge. VROPS will be able to monitor the deployment, performance, health, and utilization. The feature also will allow to check the cost of VRA objects for public and private cloud environment. And once we are talking about the deployment on public cloud, it's worth to mention VROPS 8.6 will include support for monitoring all, I repeat, all AWS services, including custom metrics. Furthermore, all across the public cloud with new object summary page for AWS to deliver business critical information in a condensed view, support for more Azure and Google Cloud Platform services, revamp object relationship, as well as native management pack for Google Cloud Platform. With VROPS 8.6, management pack for Cloud Health received bi-directional integration. That means that now, instead sending data from Cloud Health into VROPS only, now with this update, you can take SDBC or VMware Cloud data from VROPS and send it to Cloud Health. What's more, for the users who want to compare information about costing in multi-cloud environment, the bi-directional integration will be available on both on-prem and SaaS. The next big thing, is support for open source Telegram agent. Thanks to support to open source Telegram agent, 
you can monitor over 200 applications. Of course, you can continue to use vRealize Operation Telegram Agent, but this will limit you to 20 or 40 applications. While using open source Telegram Agent and its ecosystem of hundreds of applications will give you more options, more flexibility. This feature supports monitoring both virtual and physical servers. Sustainability Dashboard. VROPS 8.6 will help you stay green. The new sustainability dashboard will help to optimize infrastructure from the environment viewpoint by reviewing the physical servers, storage, and network infrastructure. Optimize the power efficiency. Review the virtual machines and files, making sure they are genuine demand and still serve the business purpose. So you can have a look against like ideal machines, or over provisioning machines and that dashboard will help you to manage that environment. And guys, that would be my quick overview. If you want to read more about this, this is the link to the VMware. Actually, the link will be down in the description to VMware blog about the VROPS 8.6. I don't know the release date, but I heard somewhere it should be Q3 which we are now in the Q3, so hopefully we will see VROPS 8.6 soon. Guys, uh, that will be it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and listening to me. If you like that video, leave a thumb up, uh, share, share that video with the community to spread the knowledge. Knowledge is a key and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. You can also click notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Um, read my blog and see you in the next one. Bye.